Hey there, it's Alicia, and I wanted to come on live here to talk to you about a new way to dress your body better. Now, normally when we think about dressing our body better, we think about using figure flattery. And normally when we talk about figure flattery, we're usually referring to using our clothes to make us look skinnier, to make us look taller, and basically to make it look better than it is right now. Well, I actually would love you for you to, oh my you. goodness. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm having a little bit of technical issues, but everything should be good to go. So as I was saying, normally when we think about flattering our body, using our clothes to flatter our body, normally we think about dressing to make ourselves look skinnier, dressing to make ourselves look taller, and basically just using our clothes to look better than we already do. And that is all good and that is fine if that's working for you, but I would like to suggest a new approach, right? I wanna share a new approach for you to consider to dress your body better. So, you know, when you have your friends or somebody in your family and you wanna make them feel good about themselves, what do you do? You give them a compliment, right? We compliment people when we want them to feel good. So this is what you can do with your clothes, right? You can use your clothes to compliment your body so that it feels good, right? So I'm gonna explain how to do this. I'm gonna share really easy way how to use your clothes to compliment your body. So there are three things that you can do and you can use your clothes to create harmony. You can use your clothes to create balance and you can use your clothes to create cohesiveness, okay? So this is what I'm gonna share with you right now. And I'm actually going to share my screen to help illustrate the point because I really want you to understand what I'm talking about because this stuff is really going to make a huge difference in the way that you dress your body, the way you think about how you're using clothes to flatter yourself. And it's really just going to make you feel more confident in your skin overall. Okay, so this is Shiv. Do you see Shiv? I don't know if you are familiar with the show Succession. Um, I have been obsessed with Succession. I'm actually, well, it's over, I, I finished. I can't wait for it to come back. But when I was watching it, I just loved I loved looking at Shiv to see what she was wearing. I just thought her style was so inspiring and I just think that the costume department did a really fantastic job. So let's talk about how Shiv's character, how, how she um, uses, how she compliments her body, right? How she uses her clothes to complement her body, okay? So creating coat, let's start with um, creating harmony. So, one way to create harmony by using your clothes is to choose colors that complement your skin tone, okay? So it's about finding colors that when you put them on, they make you look more vibrant, they make you feel more alive, and they really give you an overall feeling of harmony, right? So the colors of the clothing, the colors that you choose to wear, they really harmonize with your skin, with your hair, with your eyes. Now, one way that you can do this, find colors that are going to harmonize with you easily, is to really look closely at your eyes, see the colors in your eyes. You know, we we say, like I say, I've got brown, green eyes, but really our eyes have so many different colors in them. In them. There's all these different flecks. So really look closely at the colors in your eyes, and then you can start wearing those colors in your clothes. So I love love the color that Shiv is wearing here in the dress um, on the left. It is gorgeous for her coloring and it is really creating a harmony within her whole look, right? So she's really using her clothes to create harmony, okay? So another way that you can use your clothes to complement your body is that you can create balance. 
All right. So one way to create balance with your look is to use the proportions of your clothing to create balance. Now, a lot of people get confused when they hear this, this idea of proportions in clothing, and it's really quite simple. What it means when we're talking about pro proportions with your style is we're just talking about the way the different components of your outfit, the way they react to one another, the way they make the other one look. So for example, in the outfit on the right with Shiv, she's got on um, a baggier cut pant. So the pant is a looser fit. And because of that, it's making the top look more form fitted. Okay, so this is a beautiful way to create balance in your look is that you can use the proportions of your clothing to give it a balanced look. So baggier on the bottom, more form fitting on top. I love introducing dynamic opposition in my outfit. I think that's always going to give you a really beautiful balanced look. So start thinking about the proportions of your outfit and how you can use them to create balance, okay? And then lastly, when you want to use your clothes to complement your body, think about creating cohesiveness, right? So creating cohesiveness. And when you're gonna do this, look at the different style elements in your outfit and, and notice how they play together, right? So you want them to play well, you want them to play nicely, you want them to be easy on the eye. So for example, looking at the picture of Shiv on the left in the dress, if you'll notice she's got this sweetheart neckline and then for her style element, she's wearing a pair of earrings and the earrings are really close on her ear, right? So that's really playing nicely. That's creating a cohesive look to her outfit with the style elements. If she had put on a necklace instead of the earrings or even with the earrings, that might have been more, well, it just wouldn't have been cohesive. It would have been fighting for attention with the neckline, right? So that neckline is very strong on its own and putting a necklace there, it might have competed for attention. So really to create a cohesive look with your outfit, you really wanna make sure that all the style elements are playing nicely together. So you want it to be easy on the eye. And one way to know if you're doing a good job with this is when you have everything together and you have your outfit on, then you just take one last look in the mirror and then you make sure that it's not too much it doesn't give you a headache it's not too many accessories it's not too many things competing with each other all right so that's how you create a cohesive look so that is what I wanted to share today. I wanted to give you some ideas about how you can use your clothing and your accessories to complement your body, right? So it's just a new way of dressing your body better. Instead of using flattery to try to make yourself look skinnier, to try to make yourself look taller, think about using your clothes to complement what you've already got going on, right? Because we all have beautiful things already happening in our body. Um, it's just about highlighting these and really bringing them out. So if you would like to get some more style styling tips just like this that are going to teach you how to know what works best for your body so you always show up with feeling really confident in your clothes. If you want to have more tips like this, I would love to have you join me. I'm offering a free online style workshop and it's going to be value packed with styling strategies that are going to really help you understand what works best for you, for your body, for your personality, for your lifestyle. So you always show up in clothes that make you feel and look amazing. Because when you feel amazing, we all know that really is the key to looking amazing. So click the link to get more info. I would love to have you with me at my style workshop. And otherwise, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.